All right, time now for a look at our upnorthlive.com forecast on our Wednesday morning. The weather getting pretty active coming up here thanks to this area of low pressure, which is unusually strong for this time of the year. Uh, you typically see this a little more later in the fall, but this low will kind of bottom out here in northwest Wisconsin as it tracks off towards Lake Superior. What it's going to do is overnight it's had a south wind ahead of it. It's lifted a frontal boundary through the area. There's a cold front extending off of this, and during the day Wednesday, this cold front will approach during the afternoon heating, and so that could park, uh, spark off a few showers and thunderstorms. This is what it looks like on Stormcast going forward. You can see the storms locally. The system will weaken as it moves up towards Lake Superior, but still a lot of showers in the forecast through our Thursday before that finally winds down and moves to the east, and then some cooler weather uh, Thursday night, Friday looking good, and then some drier weather works in for Friday into the beginning of the weekend. Ahead of that area of low pressure, south winds in place. On our Wednesday, you can see the winds, and they will be breezy, especially near the Great Lakes. Then that system passes by, our winds will turn more towards the west as we go into the day on Thursday. But the main story is the threat for severe weather on our Wednesday. Stormcast shows, okay, again, some showers and thunderstorms. Some of these, by early to mid and then especially late afternoon, could be strong to possibly severe as these move through. The main threats would be uh, some large hail damaging winds. There is even a slight tornado risk as well uh, for the afternoon hours. That severe weather threat will end by midnight and then we're looking at just a general rain and some showers on our Thursday. And look how widespread these will be uh, Thursday afternoon and evening. Just a general rain, it is going to feel a little bit like fall Thursday. Highs will be in the 60s, some showers, a brisk west wind, just a, an early taste, I guess, of fall. Showers do end though late Thursday night into early on Friday. This is the severe weather threat again for today or Wednesday issued by the Storm Prediction Center. We're the only part of the country that's under a slight risk for severe weather, again, as that cold front approaches. And we'll see some pretty good rains with this as well. Here's our rainfall forecast as this passes by. And then again on Thursday, we'll add all these showers onto that. So there's the totals uh, that we expect across the area. Here's a look at temperatures just ahead of that front. It does warm up into the mid-70s and low 80s, kind of muggy on our Wednesday, but our cold front will pass through. We'll drop into the 60s by early Thursday and check out Thursday afternoon. Daytime highs tomorrow, maybe 72 around Alpena down towards Escoda, but otherwise we're looking at 60s. And keep in mind, there'll be a lot of showers around the region as well. So our extended forecast, storms today, showers tomorrow, highs only in the 60s, both in upper and lower Michigan. And then that system moves to the east. We get a little rebound in temperatures, mid-70s to near 80 on Friday. Maybe a morning shower early. And then a nice start to the weekend. Dry, high Saturday back into the mid-80s.